Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm trying out these new pens that I got recently at Kmart. Now having a look at the packaging for these pens, they pretty much look like a cheaper version of Posca pens. I found out about these because quite a while ago, someone actually sent me a message on Twitter asking if I had seen these. Now this was back in June, which is quite a while ago. And uh, I'm making this video months later for a reason. I could not find these markers at all. Every Kmart I went to and every time I went back to check, they were always out of stock. But I just kept going back every single time I needed to go to Kmart just to check in case they were there. And yeah, recently I checked and I was so surprised they had like a whole row of them. So of course I had to buy them. You know, I've done a few Kmart art supply videos. I actually had some graphic pens that were basically like Copics. I also had some other ones that were dual brush tips and those were pretty good too. So I have some high hopes for these markers and I'm really excited to try and get in to making some good art with them. So after a quick little swatching session, let's dive in and see what these markers can do. So I have some paper here. Now this is basically just some uh, regular old watercolor paper that I have and I have cut off uh, the side to make it more square shaped. Now this tape I have here is basically just some uh, painter's tape and I'm just sticking it down so that I can have a nice little white border because I think it looked pretty cool to have a bit of a white border around the outside of this artwork. Now I'm just pressing down on this paper to make sure it's nice and stuck good. Now I'm thinking about doing a bit of a Pokemon artwork. I had the idea to draw uh, possibly a ghost type Pokemon scaring some other Pokemon. I just thought it would look pretty cute. And to begin this, I decided I'm going to draw a Pikachu. I'm just using a regular graphite pencil here to draw and I'll clean it up a little bit first and then after that I'll go over the top with these paint pens which I am hoping are opaque. Nearly done the Pikachu now, and I just think he looks so cute in his little scared pose. Look at those little ears down. I just want to protect the little guy. So for the next Pokemon, I want to pick something else that is also cute. And I think I'm going to go with a Jigglypuff, mainly because with that sort of simple face, I could probably warp it into something that looks hilarious at the same time, but it also makes you feel bad for the Jigglypuff. I think this one's going to be pretty funny. Okay, he does look pretty funny. Now for the next Pokemon, I was thinking about Gengar, mainly because these are all Kanto Pokemon here and I just feel like if I draw something with that sort of classic Kanto Pokemon style, sort of the more old goofy style of Pokemon, I think it would be pretty funny and cool. I really want to have him sort of behind these other two Pokemon here and sort of putting his arms out a little bit as if he is like trying to scare them, obviously. So let's do that. So here is the three Pokemon. Now it is a bit of a rough sketch at the moment, but I will be cleaning this up really soon. I'm just trying to lighten and clean up this sketch just a little bit because I really don't know how opaque these markers are. I'm hoping they are opaque like how Posca pens are. So here is the moment of truth. Let's see how these markers do. Starting off with the Pikachu here, mainly because it will be the lightest color in this artwork. And so far, it doesn't feel too bad. The color looks pretty nice and bright, so I like that. Now I finished the first layer on the body here and I'm already seeing something that is slightly concerning. I'm not sure if you can see it, but under the arm on the right side, there's this like slightly weird darker patch. It's actually where I went back over to sort of fix the shape. So I'm actually gonna have to be a bit careful with that moving forward. Yep, 
Yeah, look, now there's more of it. See on the top of his head and uh, yeah, I'm not really liking the look of that. It doesn't really look like something that I've seen with paint before. So I'm just trying to go over some areas that I need to fix and I'm like trying to blend it with my finger a little bit just to sort of prevent those weird shiny sort of patches. I don't know, this ain't looking good. Let's see if a little bit of water can actually fix these. I'm not sure if this is water soluble, but I'm trying to see if it can sort of blend it a little bit. The water seems to be doing something, but it's not really activating it that well. So moving on from the Pikachu, I'm not really a big fan of the weird streakiness, but I'm just hoping that was perhaps the yellow and maybe the other colors are better. This teal green here is actually quite a nice color. I like that, that sort of color and I think it works pretty well for Jigglypuff's eyes. So the eyes and the mouth of the Jigglypuff didn't go too bad. Now let's try out this pink. And I can already see that the same thing that happened to the Pikachu is happening to the Jigglypuff. So that's quite disappointing. These pens are really weird. They don't really feel like Posca pens at all. I'm not even sure what they feel like. I can't really compare them to another uh, paint pen or art supply. They're just strange. There's some sort of paint in there, but they don't really feel like acrylics at all. I have no idea. I feel like I'm going to have to try a little bit of experimentation. So I'm going to try and see if I can use that weird uh, darkness in the you know, layered effects to see if I can try and add a bit of a shadow, maybe like a bit of a, um, like a cell shading sort of style. Now I do this often with my Copic markers, but these aren't really Copic markers, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but uh, yeah, it's a, uh, the results kind of look interesting. So I'm not sure how I actually feel about the second layered uh, part of this artwork. It's got this weird sort of shiny look and the surface is like kind of weirdly sticky and shiny. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, see as soon as I add any second layer over the top, it like reacts kind of weirdly. To be to be honest, it kind of reminds me of a Copic marker when you do like hundreds of layers of like the same color over the top of each other. It sort of like doesn't absorb into the paper anymore and kind of like leaves this like weird sticky residue, which is quite um it's it's quite rare with Copics actually, but like with these markers, it's as soon as you add a second layer, it just really doesn't like to be layered. This is disappointing because how can you actually make like artwork without layering any art over the top of each other? I'm not sure how I'm supposed to fix this, but maybe it won't look too bad when I add some really dark sort of patterns in the background. Maybe it won't look too weird. Okay, we have more problems here. <laughs> this black pen here, really, the ink in it really does not want to flow. It feels almost like it's clogged. And I'm not sure why, because the other colors, the, the ink or paint or whatever it is inside is flowing, but this is like sort of drying up really easily. This is also stressing me out because I plan to make the background like really nice and dark and spooky, but I can't even get a clean line with this black. How am I supposed to do the line art? Okay, so I have a theory now. I wanna test with my colorless blender to see if, uh, and yeah, I guess I'm right. These are sort of dissolving instantly into this colorless blender fluid, which leads me to believe that these paint pens for some reason must be alcohol based. That is so weird. Yeah, these patches are just sort of blending right into that colors blender fluid. What the hell? This is weird because these pens, the ink in them does feel like 
like a, a, a Posca pen, like an acrylic paint, but it just doesn't work the way that acrylic paint works. But it also doesn't really work the way a Copic works either because the paint is like more thicker than a Copic ink. So the paint doesn't really absorb into the paper or anything like that. It just sort of sits on top. So I have no idea why they decided to make these alcohol based when you can't really blend with them like an alcohol based marker. It just, it seems so weird. Did the people who made these markers even test them? because they just don't really work at all, even like any way that I'm trying to sort of make art with them. Let's see if I can fix this artwork. Maybe I can use this colorless blender trick to try and save this. Yeah, this black marker is like completely clogged. Now I feel bad because I've been complaining like this whole time. These paint pens just aren't enjoyable to use like at all. They're nothing like Posca pens or even Copics or even any sort of paint pen I've used at all. So since this black is basically dead. <laughs> I'm trying to add in some color here now. Maybe I can sort of try to blend them into like this sort of swirly, slightly colorful black pattern. I have no idea, but to be honest, I'm not even sure if I can save this artwork. So let's just experiment and see what I can do. So let's see if my colors blender can blend these out. And they, it kind of works but it kind of also doesn't because these aren't like properly opaque and I'm definitely going to have to clean this colorless blender or at least replace the nib uh, right after this because that nib does not look good. <laughs> but yeah, that kind of worked to sort of make the black marker look less dry and streaky. But for the line art, I'm guessing I'm going to have to use a different art supply because I cannot do line art with those, uh, the black from this pen. But this pen should hopefully work. This is actually the pen from my uh, previous video that I did of Kmart art supplies. And uh, yes, yeah, the dual brush pen uh, set that I also got from Kmart. But unlike these paint pens, these uh, brush pen, well, no, they're not brush pens, they're dual tip pens. But these actually are kind of good. Like, I can actually make art with these ones. Yeah, this artwork is definitely not going the way I like and I'm probably going to consider this one a fail. I think I'm still going to post this video though because I kind of want to use this as a warning not to buy these uh, paint pens from Kmart because I have recommended Kmart art supplies in the past as a cheap art supply alternative and a few of them have been good like the canvases and the, um, the graphic markers that are like the Copics and the jewel brush pens. Those have been successful and these paint pens I'm saying with quotations because they don't feel like paint pens at all I cannot recommend them like at all like not even for kids there are way better options out there and uh, these paint pens ain't it I'm sorry to say and also this marker here you can see that the nib is completely destroyed why am I not surprised so here's the results of my terrible art and uh, I'm not very happy with the results of this and I'm also kind of embarrassed even showing you guys this and hopefully with these close-ups you can see what I mean by the weird streakiness and the weird sticky shiny texture on it. They just don't look good at all and uh, yeah thank you for watching and uh, don't buy those markers because they're absolute garbage they belong in the bin and hopefully i'll see you in my next video for some proper art and yeah i'm sorry and i will see you guys later bye everyone